Hello and welcome to today's episode. Prometheus here, and we have another tutorial on ClipChamp. Um, this particular um, tutorial is going to be covering closed captions. Uh, ClipChamp just added a feature closed captions, auto closed captions, so you no longer have to add them manually, which is uh, pretty good, pretty decent. Um, we'll just get right into it, guys. So, I have made this little clip, it's just short right now. So, keep in mind though, the longer it is, the longer it's going to take to do the closed captions. And then the longer it's going to take to export the file because it's going to be bigger, much bigger. All right, so we have it just like this. Boom. We're going to go straight to the closed captions at the top right. And then we're going to turn on auto captions. You're here. You can click on whatever language you want it to be. Closed captions. You can filter out profanity and sense of language. But we're not going to do that right now. And then we're going to turn on closed captions and it's going to get started. Now, it may take a little bit depending, like I said, on the file size. If you have multiple clips, all you have to do is just highlight it just like that, and it will do its business. It will do its business real good. So, uh, and then right now I have this one clip, so it'll say zero over one. Um, if we had multiple, it would be like, you know, it'll say however many clips you got, clearly. You do have the option to uh, later, if you decide you don't want to have the closed captions, you can just click hide, closed captions. We have the option to download captions, the file. That way you want to later add it to um, like YouTube itself. Um, yeah, that's also there. Um, this could also work with your TikTok videos. Uh, we're just right now we have 16, 16, 9, which is going to be your basic YouTube right now. But you could change it back. You could change it to 916 for your uh, TikTok or whatever shorts and stuff. So we'll have that. It's going to take a little bit, like I said, because processing all the audio on this clip. It's not only the game, but probably the voice and stuff. So we'll take a look at that, and we'll be back in a moment when it's done. All right, guys, we're back. It did seem like it did take a while. We're almost done. The circle is almost filled up. Um, definitely had to, what I just brewed a couple of coffee, pot of coffee, and it's still going. So here we go. Uh, we can play it right here. Hold on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, today's episode. All right, we'll stop it. Um, this is your preview course. And again, you can download the, from here. That might be op uh, might be good because you can do different languages later into YouTube. But you have that option. Um, if you, without having your main clip, your clips highlighted, go ahead and click on this. And then you can change the font, if you will. So that's an awesome feature. I really like that a lot. Now from there, it will take a while to actually process. There you go. Uh, you can change the colors too. We'll click on the colors tab. And you, I kind of like the primary color, but you can change it. You can change the background to any color, or you can do it transparent, which I kind of like that idea better. Um, and there you go. It has your captions and it does all for it. Again, you can go preview and just in case it didn't pick up something, you can go in here or misspelled something or didn't, you know, you know how it works. Sometimes it doesn't always catch up and uh, it'll be different. You said something, but that's not really what it's showing what you said. So, yeah, they have that option. I hope this was helpful a lot. Remember, if it's the longer the clip is, the longer it's going to take to to add these auto captions the longer it is going to take to export this file but uh you also have that option to download captions which i like that this is the only one that i know of uh that does this auto caption feature unless you're using CapCut on your mobile app but yeah if you like this video thank you so much for watching but uh, if you did like it though smash the like button don't forget to subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys next video happy editing